it is personally seen. Personally seen. Meaning, I'm not trying to educate you, tell you how it is, tell you how to do it. Just through self experience, denying all that was inherited, programmed into, conditioned language, words, past, future, identification, mind, divisionist, all these. Methods, practices, organized, structured ways, all declined, all offered, given away in place of truth. Take it, I surrender all of my life through this. What many would call foolish, weak, Inability to fit in to a perfectly normal world <laughs> as seen from that personal one who makes that statement or comment through their own personal experiences. It is personally seen that all that takes place is ongoing nothingness. A story of nothing appearing, momentary passing, coming and going like that animated cinematic role of microfiche that you place in the projector and action cameras roll. All of this animation is taking place and it means nothing, it is experienced as nothing. It is loved as freedom, emptiness, to be able to say, I am not in this screen, in this movie, in this action-packed thriller <laughs> that appears to be taking place. Simply the witness. Now, without mind, that human mind, and it is, this is explained as, as it is, without dependent on recovering the information that was handed over. But on this negotiating, when Christ or Spirit or God or Consciousness or whatever you want to call it comes and says, thank you very much, I'm taking that. Brilliant. Now go back empty. Go back empty. Second chance reborn, rebirth, and see if you can survive without it. We can't survive without mind. In a world full of mind, full of identities, full of ego, full of somethingness, full of stories, full of activities, full of purpose, methods, experience, how can an empty one fit in unless they sit under the bonsai tree for the rest of their life? So God or Spirit or Christ or Consciousness or whatever it is, doesn't say go back and change it. Go back and preach. Go back and tell them that they have to do it your way. Go back and tell them you're personal. You're unique. It's your own world. You can be in the screen. You can be the actor. You can be the director. You can be the scenery. You can be the curtains. You can be the seats. You can be anything you want. That's the power of your mind. The power of your mind is to create all of this as an image, as a reflection of what you are. So you can make something out of nothing. That's your wisdom, your intelligence. But what happens is, you see, for those who think, wow, what's, what's this speaker saying? Well, Speaker saying it's ongoing movingness. Everything is passing. There's no identity to whatever is passing. There's no 
um, need to to separate and segment and describe and and make something out of it because the human mind has been put aside just for a moment can't live without it we can live without it but not in a world full of information full of systems and 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 ways and methods and practices and jobs and how you do it and this is the way you know if you don't do this you don't fit in you're not fit in you don't you don't belong here you go in some mental mental institute or you go in a monastery or you go somewhere else because you're not fitting into this ego driven way so therefore god and christ does not say go change the world and tell them how it is you be how it is as much as you possibly can and share this phenomenal, wonderful ability to witness life in its whole essence as one whole thing, one whole dance, one whole movement, appearing to come and go, appearing to pass. And let everything pass, even your body let it pass, even your mind let it pass, even the food let it pass. Even that promise of someone giving you a new car and they let you down, let it pass. It's no big deal. But it is seen by a mind full that is still driven. Perfectly okay to be driven. This one was driven. As boredom is terrifying. I don't want to be empty. I don't want to see. I want to make comparisons. I want to have preferences. I want to have choices. I want to be competitive. I want to value. I want to analyze. I want to judge. I want to tell the difference between the good guys and the bad guys. Well, the fact is, none of that is taken away. I can, this one can call in the human mind and say, yeah, that one, definitely a bad guy. There's no loss. There is only gain in finding your original state, the truth. So it's to go, to go forward, one has to go back. Does that make sense? To go forward, one has to go back. So everything is the same, appearing as if it's different. You never go back. Yeah. Weak. That's weak. Keep going forward. Keep plowing on. Keep making something out of nothing. And we have the choice, you see, we're born like that, we're born like that child. Where the child opens his eyes, it opens its ears, opens its <coughs> mouth and everything. <coughs> it's full of joy. It has no description, it doesn't know what's taking place. But it's so love, it's so happy to be here. It's so intuitively in love with the parents, intuitively in, intuitively in love with just being here. Intuitively in love with crying and laughing. No division. No differences between laughing and crying. Same thing. Intuitively in love with just being alive. So that's the outcome of becoming a being that has overcome this human, egoistic, driven, mad world and still being able to appear here. Because the fear and the terrifying comes from wow I don't want to be like that that sounds like dementia yeah well it's probably like dementia in a happy way but dementia and Alzheimer people do not have the choice when to call back in the human mind it appears as if it's just taking place the, the, the cinematic role is jumping you know it's moving in not in sequence of what is supposed to take place the enlightened being has the choice to recall that mind and make something out of nothing. So there's nothing happening. Everything is taking place. Everything has names, but the names are of no use, no purpose to experience true, pure livingness, lovingness. And what happens when we're a child? We go to that school and the education system says, right, you must make something out of nothing. You must make something out of your life. So therefore, this world of differences, 
that are just moving and passing are given names. The tree is moving. The cloud is moving. The wind, the grass is moving. Your hand is moving. The dust that's falling in front of your face is moving. All given names. It's not movement anymore, you see. That's all that's taking place. Nothingness moving within itself. And creating some things that we call forms. And then we give them names. And then we make something out of it. So to the end, enlightened being, it can call in and say, okay, that chair over there has dust moving on it. A story, a narrative. And then we can make more stories out of it. That chair is black. It is made of leather and has wooden legs, a wooden back. It is upright. It is like the letter L. It cost 200 pounds. It was delivered by a guy in a blue van. It was bought for online. It was paid through a bank card. It sits in a lounge. It's very comfortable, sometimes uncomfortable. It's handy when guests come in from a chair. So much information. And then we go on to the story about the guests that come in. John likes it. Simon likes it. Hilda hates it. It's very uncomfortable. She has a bad back. It's something out of something out of something out of something out of something. And then the mind gets confused as we go through our life trying to learn more, trying to get more, trying to be more intelligent, fit in, change jobs, more information, more identities, more things. And then dementia and Alzheimer's set in. And the human mind cannot be brought back in, in some sequential order. And the one with dementia and Alzheimer's is quite happy. It hasn't got a clue what's going on. But for the loved ones around, it's ah, horrific. It's destroying, self-destructive. Seeing those who were very normal, upright, intelligent, failing, fading into this horrendous illness created by who knows what, you know. So it's not boring. It's just pure love. Pure love to see that everything is the same. And we have this wonderful mind that we can make division and segment it and names out of it. But it's very important to go through life realizing that in the morning, let's start again. Let's re remove yesterday's story and try and shorten today's story. Stop trying to teach and educate so much to drive that human mind to terror. Because when it gets to terror, it has two things. It can continue to try and get out of it by learning more. Or it can s surrender and give up to boredom. The boredom sounds as if I'm going to die. I'm going to, I'm going backwards. My parents says never go backwards. Always plod on, barge forward. It's weak to remove. It's strong to pick up. But it's strong to let go, you see. That's why it's so difficult when one loved one dies. The tears come for so many days, so many months, so many years for some because they find it so hard to let go. Balanced nothingness. No story. But if necessary, I take the mind in and make a story out of the chair. Okay, make a story out of the chair then. Yeah, this chair is there, it's black, it's for sitting on, it's brilliant, it's lovely, I love it. No, no more information needed. My name is Graham, I am a man. I'm happy, I love my life. Where do you work? Not important.
Do you have a family? Yes. Not important to share. They are part of my nothingness, my moving world. All that's taking place is this cinematic ah. Uh, you know, look, look around. Image after image after image. Even if you concentrate on the same image, something is moving within your body. The dust is falling. Up, the, everything is just passing through. Quality of mind. Simple, basic, loving, kind, compassionate. With the ability to call back in that information, that, that learning education system gave it. Just to fit in to a world of chaos. A world of... <laughs> apparent... Apparent... Stuff. <laughs> 